Hey guys, this is Zora of Water. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we went through time and space in a parallel dimension off in the distance, probably like months later, um, to redo the Thunder Plains. And here we are back at a save file that you probably have no idea about. So actually, I'm going to go through all the differences that we have. Um, we're over at Makalania Woods and we're going to transverse. Hopefully through the entirety of Magalania Woods, or at least a good chunk of it. So starting off, I apparently have a singular spear grid movement with Riku. Apparently I use Riku a lot in the Thunder Plains, which makes a lot of sense because she was def she was like all the way back here, back in Guadalcanal. So this is what Riku's spear grid is looking like. Um, Orin didn't make... He made a little bit of progress and he got the ability Magic Break. What magic break is, it lowers the enemy's, I guess, offensive magic. I believe magic and magic defense is completely separate from each other. Um, Lulu has already gotten all four for level twos, and I didn't deviate over to Waka, which is good. Although Waka, for whatever reason, is now invading Lulu's spirit grid, and I don't remember quite why. Um, I guess I just wanted to make him a little bit more of a magic user. I'm... Probably gonna move her over to Unispear Grid as I intend to in the future. Meanwhile, Tidus, I don't know why I didn't unlock this level 1. I should have unlocked it. That was my bad. But Tidus is kind of moving his way over. I don't have any level 3 locks. Do I? Nope, I don't. Uh, walk is over there. Yuna is on her way of getting Cura. So I think. I actually don't remember where she was on the Spear Grid. <laughs> Now that I think about it, um, she definitely had life at one point. Yeah, I actually don't remember. She was probably around this area. And then Kamari is just continuing to invade Orin's territory. So there goes that. Um, I believe, I hope the guns is safe. Yes, I did get Waka second overdrive called Attack Reels. And what it is, um, actually I don't think I've shown... Have I shown Waka's overdrive? It's been a long time. I'll re-explain if I have to. But I've never actually had Waka have more than one overdrive reel. And the only way to get this is to go into the Blitzball section and have this as a reward after I think about 200 or so battles. Should be on the screen right now. And then the equipment that we got. We got a few items that are a little bit different. Uh, actually, can I just sort this out real quick? Alright, thank you. So, let's see, what kind of items we got? Um, I don't know how much different it is in terms of use items, I'm not too worried about it. We did get a lot of Electro Marbles, and apparently one Lightning Marble somewhere. Uh, Chocobo Fetters you can get from Cactars, stealing from Cactars. Um, light Curtains, as I said before, you can cast- Oh wait, Light Curtains Protect? I thought that was Shell. No, it was the Lunar Curtain that Shell. Um, a lot of Spears, a hell of a lot of Spears. And apparently, <laughs> hang on, can I, what, oh, this is what he used for. I've never actually used this map before. This is a really nice looking map. Actually, no, now that I think about it, that's, on the left is Lady Unaleska from that one cutscene, and to the right is Lord Xeon. That's so cool! I'm so happy. <laughs> is that supposed to be Sin on the bottom who's breathing fire? Anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, this keeps on coming up as an option for you to use in the, uh, mixing, so I was always curious about that. Um, believe this is all sorted out. Oh, no, it's not. Sweet. I just, okay, I just want to go through all these. I don't know which ones are new and old, so I'll just kind of go down the list. I apparently got an S staff, which has the still speed, but that's kind of useless for Yuna. That she's not an attacker. Uh, nothing, nothing. I did get... I think I got... I did not get a new katana. That's really odd. Uh, I did get a dream lance from somewhere. Unless I already had that to begin with. I know I had a few more items. I have three scout balls! This is actually kind of concerning. Uh, oh, I don't have the initiative stuff on here. That's disappointing. Well, I do have Bangle of Hope, which has MP Stroll and HP Stroll. So these abilities, if you equip this equipment, 
Um, as you walk, you will slowly regain HP and MP automatically. Um, between battles and in the overworld, you don't do that normally. You would have to use a white magic or some healing items to restore all that. So that's a really good um, bangle for Lulu. I don't know if I'll necessarily use it right away. Oh, I do have an initiative. It's uh oh god, I have two of them. This is for Riku. She also has a strength plus five. I might equip her with the initiative. And apparently I also have two targs that are MP strolls, which I should probably listen to Lulu's advice and give Riku the ability to use black magic, but not now. I'm gonna go ahead and equip one of these sonars. And you know what? Let's finally get on fourth with Makalania Woods. First off, we can't go to the right. Lady Yuna, it is good to see you made it through safely. And if I may, congratulations on your betrothal. Maester Seymour's people are expecting you. Take that road to go to Makalania Temple. This road leads to Bevel. You should hurry to the temple in Makalania. Yeah, they're gonna force us away. We're on watch duty at the temple at least until the wedding's done. Anyone tries to crash our party, we'll send them packing. We've received several reports of summoners disappearing these last few days. Please be careful, my lady. Right, they did mention that back at the moon flow. Okay, it's been a little while since, so I completely forgot about all that stuff. Freaking Makalania Woods is so pretty. I really love this area. I think it's because the trees look like they're made of crystal. And honestly, they probably they probably are made of crystal. There's a bunch of people around here. No, I wish to talk to you. I, oh, oh god. So you remember this? You remember this SOB from way back in the beginning of the game? I think he can actually poison us. Hang on. You have sensor on your weapon. Occasionally succumbs to darkness. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Are you saying he's weak to dark attacks? Or will he eventually cause darkness to himself? I'm not quite sure. Anyways, I'm gonna beat you up. He's not hes not the same as the first monster that we've dealt with when we entered Spira. And quite frankly, I don't want to find out. So I'm gonna just beat him up. Right, Rico, I did steal, right? I did steal, right? No, I did not steal. Right. Or maybe he can cause darkness. That would be quite unfortunate. Uh, let's get Kamari out of here. I'm actually surprised. It, he doesn't seem like an annoying monster to fight. So shocked. Oh my god, Lulu, why would you do this? Will you stop hitting me? Farewell. Get out of here. Ugly. Oh my gosh, there you look so pretty! Alright, I wish to talk to the person! Mr. Seymour awaits. Please hurry to Makalania Temple. Okay, whatever you say. Ooh, George Chest. 2,000 gil. Oh, right, there's gonna be a lot of screens to go through. I'll warn you just in advance. Um, and along the way, you'll actually see more. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Ah, pissed. This is really bad. Ooh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay, okay. This is actually a really annoying monster. Super annoying. It's a chimera. Uh, first off, I wanna silence it. I don't wanna deal with any of its BS. Thank you. Okay. Panic aside, I need to power break and magic break this guy. Chimeras are notoriously strong monsters in any video game. This particular Chimera is super annoying. He has four different attacks, I believe. One of which is a single target fire attack called Megiddo Flame, which hits like a truck. Unfortunately, I don't think... I don't think he's weak to anything. No, in fact, he is... Com he is resistant to fire and water magic so you want to darkness and silence him and he's vulnerable to threaten which i don't think we have that on orn quite yet anyways i digress um so what i'm gonna do it's gonna take a little bit i'm gonna put haste on kamari because we can actually learn a few skills from this chimera 
Uh, oh, no, the silence is still there. I'm gonna use Lancet. He learned Aqua Breath. Aqua Breath is actually... Can I use Dark Attack too? Yeah, no. Um, Aqua Breath will actually uh, hit like multiple enemies at a time. Uh, I think... Can I use Stone Breath? He's probably immune to stuns. So I'll just jump. Um, Aqua Breath can attack a water element on all of our allies, so that's gonna be quite unfortunate. I'm gonna use magic, magic Break, because he can also use Thundera. And I think he just has a generic ram attack that hits like a truck. Oh, wait, is that the only one I can learn? Really? Dark attack, come on, come on. No! I need you to succumb to the darkness! Succumb to the darkness! Can I really not learn anything else from you? Nope. Okay, then. Okay, so there was its attack. If I can't let you succumb to dark- Do not haste him! Whatever you do, do not haste him. Uh... Oh no, he is succumb to dark! Sweet! Okay, if that's the case, uh, Riku get out here so I can steal something. Fortunately, these enemies only um, fight by themselves, so you only have to deal with the one. Oh god damn it, now there's Aqua Breath. So if you happen to use a Null Tide, you can completely be impervious to this. Ah, uh, Jesus. Um, for whatever ungodly reason- Oh, I can steal more than one? Sweet. Uh, for whatever reason, we can just steal an Arctic Wind, which is an ice attack, and technically he doesn't have any ice attacks. There we go. God, I hate this thing. That's how it's done. Yeah, that's how it's done, Orin. On the bright side, he does give me ability spears. All right, so let me sort through the spear grid real quick. Go for Riku. Move her over this way. Give her a little bit more power. And we are coming up on what is this spear change? Uh. I don't actually know how rarely usable that is, but I don't want to use it. It you you use a certain amount of gill to deal a fixed amount of damage. And man oh man, I kinda wanna save up all my gill. Alright, so Kimari also knows magic break. I might move him over to either Lulu or Yuna Spear Grid when I get the chance. Alright. So moving on forth. So every now and then you actually see these blue butterflies. Um, they actually have a neat little side quest for this later on. We just need to find the person to talk to. But here is a hidden treasure chest with three phoenix downs. Oh, wonderful! We have our generic enemies. So first off, this thing looks amazing. I love it, and he probably has a high potion. Oh shit! And this thing can also. Turn us into stone. So let me just go ahead and fix that. Light shine strong. Our woe be gone. There we go. Because the last thing I need is for Kamari to die. Or you know for Rika to die as well. Uh okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh let me deal with that big guy. Oh shit, that's a that's an issue. Oh, Kamari also learned warrior. Sweet. I- son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be annoying. Oh, Yuna's gonna die. I was about to say, please stop stoning my people. And there goes Yuna. So let me just... Uh, I'm gonna switch over to Lulu before I do this. Down. Don't understand why she takes it out of her boobs. I Kamari's still not nimble enough to deal with son of a bitch. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine. This is a blue element. It's oh, it's a water element. Herpaderp scrub. I always mistaken these as the blizzard ones because everything looks like it should be a blizzard thing, but it's not. No problem. Let me kill this thing. Or just not kill it, that works too. Ironically enough, um... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Ironically enough, 
uh, have being hit by a magic attack, I think, while you're stoned, will not. Oh, thank you. Oh no! Well, I just got my first game over. I'll be right back. I was about to say, getting hit by a magic attack while you're petrified doesn't guarantee a break. Anyways, give me a moment. I'll be right back. What a mess. Oh, hello there! So, I got another game over because I accidentally chose the wrong save file. But you know what? I digress, because apparently I didn't realize that the characters talk when they die. That's actually something new to me. I've died quite a few times in this game, and I've never had that happen before. Anyways, there is a treasure chest I did miss here. It has a sleepy case sip. I believe it is a sleep sleep touch weapon for no it is no right here yes sleep touch weapon for Lulu completely useless right now anyways give me a moment let me go grind up a few things and uh, get back to where I was okay I think I got back to the place I was at uh, now I need to go fix everyone's spirit grid because I, I, I done goofed I done goofed and I died um, so yeah, this place is really pretty. I find it really ironic that all the enemies around here are weak, or a good majority of them are weak to blizzard, ice, ice spells, when I keep on mistaking them to be ice. Or at least that's what I keep on getting. Um, I am gonna... Uh, I did say I want to go back to Unisphere Grid. I did. And I shall. So I'm gonna move over this way, learn this ability, and I'm gonna go up. So what is this exactly? That is bio. That is a skill that will poison an enemy, which technically is really good because poisoning- you can still poison bosses even later on the road. So definitely try to pick that up if you can, either on Yuna or Lulu, or someone. Alright. Uh, let's see. Magic break. Moving down over here. And I think everyone's to their right in proper order. I'm gonna be really mad if I die again, because things get really scary down the road. This place has a lot of fight, not think. twists and turns. Huh? What? There's a lot of twists and turns that I really don't care for. You son of a bitch! We do not need to do this again. I am not gonna make the same mistake I did before. I'm gonna get you killed. Right now. Shine strong. Our woe be gone. I really like the little bangles on their um forearms, I guess you can say. It looks really nice. Okay, Titus, come out here. Kill no this problem. little lizard. Or just not kill it. That works too. Holy piss! Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that is indeed a problem. Let me fix that. Away with you! No, please don't kill! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna switch over to Orin. I'm not gonna use a Mega Phoenix. There's absolutely zero reason for me to use a Mega Phoenix. But I do need to revive them. I hate these enemies, why do I feel so weak? Okay, Riku needs to come up. Someone is probably gonna go back down, but it better not be the both of them. You son of a bitch. Alright, so let me just switch over to Yuna. Because I think life will do a lot more HP restoration. There we go. Orin's not gonna KO that one hit, but he can do something. And meanwhile, you have pissed me off. You're not dead. That's an issue. So, how shall we do this? Well, for one, Lulu, I need you to kill them. You steal a high potion, I think it was? A hypello? What? 
Hold up! What is a Hypello Potion? I remember seeing this somewhere, I don't remember where I got it from, but I didn't think I could get it from these guys. Okay, hurt aside, let me heal myself real quick before I venture on forth. What the hell is a Hypello Potion? Pray tell. High pillow potion. There has to be some use for this. Oh, it's a mix only item. That's why it doesn't sound super familiar. So you actually can't use this in the item screen. And you also can't use this on the use screen for Riku. You can only have access to this by using um, her mixing overdrive. So that's annoying and unfortunate. Alright, so we have spare change, which is something I'm probably never going to use. Move over there. Yuna, you're slowly making your way. Actually, you know what? Let me give you a MP spear. And a magic defense. Because you're a little bit on the frail side. And I would like for that to stop. And actually, since Walka is making his way into Lulu's spear grid, I should also be giving him those things as well. And there's a power... power spear... that I kind of want to use. Over here... And let's move on forth! Also, don't mind that little... green square. It... This... this... area has so many turns and whatnot and levels that, like, that's just an entrance that you probably came from or an entrance you could probably go to. You... have you seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. But if anything happens to her... Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. But... Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. <sighs> You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aran. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. I have a feeling... Or it may have lost Braska at one point in his life. Also, I really feel bad for Bartello. Probably has nothing to do with the Albed. Nope. No siree, especially not with Riku's actions over there. Oh god damn it. Okay, you, sir, I have enough of you. I am just gonna blow you up. Come here. Or you know, just not blow It didn't even put darkness on you. Shoot. This is kinda bad. Hopefully you will not see another, uh, game over screen. I will be right back. Everyone got a level up! That's not something you see every day. Um, actually, I'll probably end... Hang on. Where does this take me? Or... Do I still need to go... Oh, wait! A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. Okay, so this is the little side quest with the butterflies. The Mongolonia Woods Butterfly Hunt. Approach the butterflies of many hues and its red and blue brethren shall appear. Try to catch seven of the blue butterflies, but beware the reds, for they call powerful fiends when threatened. Butterflies disappear after a certain time. Try catching the blue butterflies while avoiding the red ones. 
So actually, this is going to be a good stopping point, um, because it will take a little bit for me to go through and get those butterflies. Also, if I mess up, I'm going to have to deal with really strong enemies. Um, I really hope I don't have another game over. So actually, I'll probably do that side quest after I guaranteed I'm able to save. Just so I don't have to- I don't accidentally have to do this all over again. So, that'll be the end of that episode. Or this episode. In the next one, um, actually, did I, did I just learn? <gasps> I learned Kira! Sweet! Sorry, I got really happy there. Things get- things are a little bit mer when I'm just curing with Kira, you know? Oh, and Walker gets to learn an ability! Crap, I need to get- I need to waste a lot of spear levels so you can learn all of those. No. Anyways, in the next episode, um, we'll go forth into the depths of Makalania Woods, just enough so that we're able to find a save spear, and then I'm probably gonna backtrack and- Oh, it is Rainboy! Uh, backtrack and play with this little butterfly. This is Zara Water signing out. I will see you guys in the next one.